In this video, we're gonna take a look at Unreal Engine 5.3's new tool presets. I'm currently running Unreal Engine 5.3 built from source code. I have a video on my channel if you're interested in doing that. It's not that hard. It just takes a, there's a lot of, it takes a lot of hard drive space and time. But we're gonna take a look at an update that they posted on their, uh, the official Unreal Engine 5.3 roadmap. Um, as you can see, tool presets, Creators and developers can now make custom presets for modeling tools. The custom presets enable artists to store multiple options for tools and access them quickly from the tool icon. So let's switch over to Unreal Engine uh, 5.3. Again, I built this from source. You can check out my video if you're interested in learning how to do that. As you can see, we're gonna go to create and then we're just gonna go to hit box. Now, as you can see up here, right here, um, you can see the, uh, the presets button. If you click that, you'll see manage presets. You'll see create preset and manage preset. So what we're gonna do is as you can see, these are, when you create a box, these are all the, the default settings. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna modify this slightly. So there's pretty much two subdivisions on the, in uh, every direction and I'm gonna create a preset and I'm just gonna call this default plus uh, modified factory. As you can see, there's collection, it's a, uh, there's a tooltip, you can add a tooltip. None presets would be added to default personal presets, so there's, uh, you can create a collection. Now, uh, as you can see, if you click preset, you can have the default plus, but I'm going to reset these, and then I'm gonna create another preset and I don't know, let's make this 150 to my default. Or you know what, let's just, uh, no, let's leave it. So as you can see, I changed the presets and create new. Let's call this orange defaults. We don't really have to do that. So now we have our orange default, but we can go up here, call the default and go back to our uh, default plus or go back to our orange. And this is really good for those of you that are just using for for individuals that are using in unreal engine day after day after day and you're creating stuff this will help automate things which, which is really cool so we're going to accept that and there we go we can go back in there and let's go into a different one go to sphere and let's click preset and let's take a look at the preset manager as you can see we have uh, even though we're in a different well this is the, the this is the, I guess the main default manager. As you can see, if you click um, as personal, you can see create box and we can you can see our two presets. And here over on this uh, right side of the, of the interface, you can right click it and delete that preset. And here you can just see all the presets globally. Let's create a new collection, rename this. Let's call this um, modeling, uh, uh, modeling department. So we have a modeling department collection and I don't know, texture team so we have a texture texture team collection and uh project preset collections let's see and i you, i guess you can create uh, collections from here interactive tool presets uh, this is plugins interactive tool presets low preset collections you may be able to make a new one right there's your presets right there and if we go back and we create a sphere collection uh let's see Let's make this new and we can click here and let's add this to the texture teams collection and let's see. And click okay and there you go. It's, we now have our preset in our texture team collection. 